appreciate you guys being here. So uh, practice number six, number seven, I believe that is yesterday. Yesterday was really good. It was physical. It was our first day in full gear. And um, our level of execution, uh, the way we ran into the football, the way that we just it just operated from from the snap, the cycle of the snap standpoint, receiving the signals, communicating, getting lined up, going fast, going on to the next play. The pace was really good. The tempo was good. Um, the physicality, the pad level was a lot better. Um, technique and fundamentals still is a work in progress. And uh, we played several guys, and we, we went extensively. We went deep into probably the 100 plus player range, even though it wasn't a scrimmage. Um, and then today, we uh, were out there in spiders and helmets, and part of it was good, the other part's not good. So. What sticks out is that we, we are, we're a work in progress. We're advancing, we're getting better, we're progressing, but we have to do a much better job as coaches and then as players understanding that this process, there's no let up, it's put on the gas. Uh, we have to complete every single play from start to finish, from the way we receive that signal to how we line up, how we communicate, how we execute, and how we finish, and that you can't compromise that. So, so we'll get together here in a little bit and we'll prepare for tomorrow's scrimmage. We'll scrimmage here at night. That will be closed to the public, unfortunately, for you guys, but it's something that we need to see. We need to see ourselves execute with everybody off the field. No crutches, no assistant coaches trying to get a guy lined up, no cheating, right? We want to see who can block and tackle, throw and catch and run, execute, play football, and uh, start really evaluating what that's going to look like as we get closer and closer to the season. how much people value our planning or the next and all these things. Are you about where you want to be for seven practices in? A little bit of a head, a little bit of a nine, and what you say on your checklist, you kind of are at this point. You know, I think that part of the checklist has to be so high that you never get there, so we're always going to be reaching for more. So we're making progress is the best way to find it. Mario, no um, how, Go ahead. Uh, how much weight do, do the scrimmages hold when it comes to early playing time? Lot. Or earning, I should say earning. A lot. There is no script. There is no. You can't overly plan for it. You have to run the process. You have to execute what is called. And you have to make adjustments and trust your rules. You know, everything has an intent, right? Every call, every play has an intent. It has a rule. You've got to understand numbers, leverages, how to line up, where to line up, horizontal, vertical. You know, where's your help, where's it not, where are you alone, all those things are critical. And the only way to do that is to know what you're doing, how to do it exactly like we want it done, and why we are doing it that way. And that's the only way to learn football. That's the only way, you know, you know you've heard us say, don't do it till you get it right, do it till you can't get it wrong. That's the only way that it works. Like the whole on the board, ask a question, and a guy responds, that's not it. You gotta rep it a lot on the board, on the field in our walkthroughs, in our units, in our indie periods, and then to our team period, then eventually the scrimmage, and then it's got to translate to game time. So we want to see drill transfer tomorrow, amongst other things. If we want to work, if we've been working certain combination blocks that require a certain hat placement and hand position at a certain angle, that has to show up tomorrow when that play is called and it has to be executed. If we want to see a certain route adjustment, when they go from one coverage to another, and the quarterback and the receiver have to make that adjustment, post-snap, we want to see that. How about the, the format, Mario? Are the coaches on the field the first one? Is it just like a game? Field? Everybody out the field warm up for about 15, 20 minutes. And that span will have everything from uh, eight, to 12, eight, 8 to 10 minutes of Indy, um, about seven minutes of seven on seven and one on ones with the bigs. Uh, some formalities of getting organized to make sure we can also run our special teams. We want to practice all our units, kickoff, cover, punt, punt return, kickoff return, PAT field goal. PAT field goal block, so two minutes of organizational time, and then we're rolling. We're kicking off, and we're playing. Coach, the receiver back. group, just in this first week, have they done a good enough job of making the plays when they come their way of finishing those opportunities? There's some highs and lows, and they got to be pressed, and they're going to be pressed nonstop, relentlessly. you got to have guys that consistently perform at a high level. And the quarterback supporting cast, all right? So let me go back. There are no sacred cows, whether you're the quarterback or not. You're going to be coached hard. But there's a level of expectation that's not going to be lowered and not going to be compromised. So with that, as we're on the quarterbacks, the wide receiver group has to continue to be more consistent in every aspect. Physicality when it's time to block, 
running the right route, aligning the proper way, taking the right release, understanding when you're pressed, when you're not, what to do, when you have what, and then of course, contested balls, finding a way to come up with them. So, and there has been progress. We have seen like yesterday and early today, we made some really, really good plays. And if we're capable of doing it once, we're capable of doing it all the time. So they're gonna be pushed. We've had some good moments. We've had some other ones where we gotta get better. So we, we need to keep progressing. Without a, without like a designated special team coordinator or coach like, uh, among your, how is that workflow gonna go on during games? It's one like we run it all the time. All the coaches are responsible for a phase in it. I'm also involved in the entire thing, and we have two analysts assigned to it, and we work together. So come game time that we can direct it. I eventually, I eventually get the call for each uh, for each phase. And which two analysts for that? Which two analysts for that? Say again. Which two analysts for that? Uh, Danny Coulter and Paul Wong. So it's actually very to be like, guys can get excited for first game. Guys get excited for first game. Stuff. Now, as you get into the lack of in terms of dog days. Yeah, I thought yes, yesterday was. I thought yesterday was. You know, we went short yards and goal line, and we had to let it go live because it was so intense. I was said, let's let it eat. You know, we'll, uh, we'll run our short yards goal line plays today, and not do it Saturday. Those are pretty physically intense now. You know, there's there's some risk reward that comes with that, but it was that level. It was exactly. Um, how you want to be progressing, not technically, but from a pad level, striking standpoint, and trying to be physical. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do to get physical now. We're understanding kind of what it is. We're not there yet, so we're working at that. Um, and then today, again, we faded. We faded. You can tell I ain't happy. It shouldn't be, because we're not coming off of that. You know, it's, this whole how you do anything is how you do everything has got to be an everyday thing. So, now that being said, there's progress. And our players are to be commended for that. And also, there's no compromise, so they're going to be pushed to do better. Probably 150. Last question. Coach, defensively yesterday, this, the turnovers and you touched on physicality. Just what do you think of the defense? I know creating turnovers is something you're trying to do. Sure. I thought that uh, in two minutes they created some turnovers. I thought on the goal line they did a great, great job, and they. They got after the line of scrimmage and shortened the edges and shrunk that thing up and got some good knockback. I thought in uh, all the stuff in the green zone, in the middle of the field playing, I thought the offense made some big plays, executed really, really well, protected well. The pockets were clean, uh, the reads were clean, had some explosive plays both in the run and the pass game. I had some really good blocks, you know, not only up front, but also outside the court on the perimeter. And, uh, and we saw some significant improvement in the way that we tackled. You know, near leg, near shoulder. You know, making sure that we're getting our hat across and whatnot. So, all in all, we saw we saw a lot of back and forth, which is good. The defense definitely uh, dominated the two-minute period, and probably the uh, the goal line. I thought the short yard stuff was pretty 